Okay, good morning everybody. Can everybody hear me okay? Well, thank you for attending. My name is Tim Downs. My company is Interwork Media. And myself, along with Jeff Mucci and RCR Wireless, that are presenting this telecom analytics conference. This is the third event this year we've done on the subject of telecom analytics, which I'll get around to in a minute. Before I go, though, I'd like to thank the people who have made this possible. Comscore, New Star, Actix, and Kansas. Uh, when in fact there's a lot of people in the room and a lot of companies on the exhibit floor who are all in the telecom analytics space or may possibly be in the telecom analytics space. So it's interesting to me uh, that this is one of those uh, segments in telecom that's uh, growing pretty rapidly with new entrants, uh, new solutions, and new products from existing companies. So um, the goal of today is really to be uh, an informal workshop. Hopefully there's a lot of dialogue. Uh, I really would hope that there's not just presenting and then silence. Um, we've got two hours in the morning before your lunch and then two hours afterwards. Um, we have two presentations on both uh, categories. The uh, morning sessions, we are focusing on customer analytics and customer data, how to monetize data from the customer side. In the afternoon, we're going to focus on uh, operational data and business intelligence from the operational side. So hopefully that's a, a, a natural dichotomy that will um, lead to lots of discussion and lots of, lots of learning. Um, before I go on, I want to make sure uh, the PowerPoints from this event, and actually the PowerPoints and videos from our earlier events are all on the website telecomanalyticsonline.com, and I think it's, yeah, right there. We, we had an event at CTIA, um, we had an event earlier this year in Atlanta, and there's, I think at last count, maybe 15 or 20 videos from that, those two events, PowerPoints from those two events. There'll be video and PowerPoint from this event as well. So um, if this is the space you're interested in, that's a great resource, as is RCR, um, with its analytics um, page on its site to keep up with what um, the latest thinking is in the often changing and shifting world of telecom and analytics. So, um, so yeah, let, let me say, let me say this. Um, I got involved in this because I thought with the words big data being trumpeted by everybody under the sun over the last few years, nobody um, more so than a mobile network operator or even a fixed line operator has more data on a customer than these guys. And so I thought this is a great intersection of thought, of new products, of new opportunities uh, to help mobile carriers uh, unlock the data that they have within their own enterprise. Not that it's going to be easy, and not that it has to be a new solution to do that, but um, as you can tell from the show floor, from this, this uh, subject itself, there's a lot of new thinking and a lot of companies who've been in the industry with new products and solutions that are attacking this problem. And I hope um, we have a lot of uh, discussion about how that can be done. Um, before we get going, I wanted to kind of go through a couple things. Today, like I said, uh, we'll do the uh, analytics, data monetization, and then in the afternoon we'll do network-based analytics. And on each each uh, category, we'll have a, the two presenters speak, and then I will ask questions, and hopefully you all too. We'll have a short round table, and then we'll break for lunch and do the same thing in the afternoon. Um, now that this is my third or fourth event, I, I can't recall, uh, I started going back through some of the other uh, sessions that we've had and talking about all the sheer amount of data that is going across our networks and from um, if you have kids you all know that the, the kids uh, and adults uh, are generating a ton of data themselves and it's only going to grow and it's only going to come from over the top players uh, as well as mobile carriers so the opportunities are vast the challenges are very complex this is a uh, infographic I got from uh, IBM uh, number of emails every second, 2.9 million. You can go on and on. Tweets per day, 500 million. Um, you know, that's a lot of data. That's a lot of data. Um, this is a, 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 another slide we got. I think everyone understands the Gardner High uh, It's very uh, well known. 
So I thought I'd throw this in here. This is their hype curve, and this is um, where I think uh, the telecom industry is. <laughs> uh, right about there, sliding into the trough. I've, we've had a lot of hype and a lot of talk about telecom analytics, and there's a lot of debate about what it is, actually. So um, possibly uh, we've gone past a lot of that, and we're moving forward towards real solutions that actually unlock real data for carriers to monetize. Um, this is another graphic about most of the companies that we have found in the space. Um, a lot of these are changing daily. A lot of these you will recognize, and a lot you may not. Speaking of that, um, some of you may have may know. I know uh, David knows uh, my colleague Dan Baker of Technology Research Institute. On the back table uh, is a flyer for a new industry report that he is producing. Uh, I think it's the only one on the telecom analytics software and services market. Uh, if you want more information about that, that'll be available at the end of October. Um, but I do think that is probably the most definitive encapsulation of what this industry is, what the market is, and what are the players are in it, and what are the subcategories in it. Um, there's that right there. That will also be available on Telecom Analytics online. Um, this is finally something that we heard from on our last event from uh, Mikhail Wiegelt of T-Mobile. And he stressed this often, this was at C the CTIA show, that it's really not the solutions that are the most challenging for him in his role. It's really trying to get the people and the processes within his enterprise to um, get together and to understand that pulling forward in one direction is, is key. So it's, it's really a people and process problem as we speak right now, according to Mr. Wiegelt. So, um, that's an interesting thought he had that there, maybe there will emerge a chief analytics officer in the mobile industry. If, if, there, if it does, I think that would probably make it a lot easier for um, products and solutions to come to market. 